I love referring to you as my good people and indeed that's what you are. So hello my good people, I welcome you to today's video where we shall be sharing about the effect of sickle cell disease on pregnancy. If you are watching my videos for the very first time, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing these videos. On this YouTube channel, we do educate one another about each and everything which is happening around the medical field. And reason I've been sharing about a genetic disease which is known as sickle cell anemia. If you'd love to watch my previous videos about sickle cell disease, I've been able to link them down below. Please go there and watch them and ensure you share them so that also other people can get to know about this very condition. The reason as to why I talk about sickle cell disease is to ensure that I create awareness to all communities, to all people, so that we can stop having children who have this condition because it is a very, very debilitating condition and people with it really suffer a lot of pain. So people have been asking me, Derek, can someone with sickle cell disease be pregnant? Before I answer that very question, I would like us to go into the video and be able to first learn really what it means by a sickle cell patient having a pregnancy. A pregnancy being carried by a lady with sickle cell disease is always known as a high-risk pregnancy. And this is because of the associated complications which I'm going to talk about in this video. So please ensure you keep around and watch this video at the end so that you can learn something from it. Now in our previous videos we learned everything about sickle cell disease and we saw how these precious red blood cells which transport oxygen to all body parts and now lose their normal shape and now gain that sickle shape which does not allow them to uh, first of all carry enough oxygen and then also to uh, move smoothly through all the blood vessels and also uh, makes them die very fast resulting into what we call anemia. So now imagine all those things happening to a vulnerable person like a pregnant mother. It is always a hard time. Every sickle cell woman who is pregnant should always be really highly monitored because this is a high risk pregnancy. Remember this sequeling can take place anywhere in the body of a sickle cell patient. And now I would like you to imagine this sequeling taking place in the placenta, uh, this connection between the mother and the fetus. That is why abortions and miscarriages are common in sickle cell mothers. Then also there is a high risk of stillbirth. That is why you find you have produced a baby who is dead. There is also a high risk of giving birth to a premature baby or a low birth weight baby. It's the fact that the nutrients which are required for this fetus to grow very well into a health baby are not really able to access the fetus due to the sequeling which takes place in the blood vessels which carry nutrients to the fetus. We also learned in the previous video that there is severe organ damage in sickle cell patients and especially in the spring. So which means the immunity is always very low. So now when this comes to pregnant mothers, it means now that low immunity will give chance to most bacteria, thus resulting into a high risk of infection such as UTIs. Now, like I said before, this is a high risk pregnancy and these mothers with sickle cell disease should always be monitored very, very closely. They should be kept on analgesics and prophylaxis antibiotics so that they can be able to prevent these bacterial infections. Then they should also get vaccines such as hepatitis B vaccine and also pneumococcal vaccine to prevent them from these stubborn infections. Baseline CBC, LFTs and RFTs should always be done to ensure that these uh, major organs which are important for the body are always in good condition. Then also these mothers should always be kept to and in case they require a blood transfusion, blood should always be really available and in time. Then also these mothers should ensure they always visit the doctor so that they can also get to know which medications they have been taking that they should not keep on taking during pregnancy. For example, drugs like hydroxylea, you are not supposed to take them when you are pregnant. So let me hope you have been able to learn something from this video. I request you not use this video as a baseline for making a decision whether to have a pregnancy or not to have a pregnancy. It is always very important to agree with your partner and then also contact your health worker so that you can get the most important information depending on your tests. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and see you in the next video. Bye.